you're here because you want to learn how to detox your body. Let's go. Where are the drum roll, please? I would say that you're here because detoxing is not something that is so mind-blowing and it's hard to do. I mean, for some people it is hard to do, but there's so many things in our normal day-to-day -day life that we can be doing very easily to help optimize our detox pathways, which our detox pathways are pain, pooping, sweating. How can we get rid of these things in our body. How can we excrete? That's what you need to be thinking. So pain is number one, and it's one of the easier things to do because that just means hydration. That means drinking. An average that you can hit is 65 ounces, but of course it depends on your activity level and other things in your life, but 65 ounces is pretty good. I know some people say half their weight in ounces. I'm also a fan of just trying to do something like 60, 65 ounces and just honestly going by thirst. So if you need more, great. Doesn't have to be rocket science, but what you can do is like, are you peeing throughout the day? If you're not peeing throughout the day, then that means that you probably aren't drinking enough because we need to be excreting and flushing toxins through our kidneys into the urine. So that's number one. I mean, right, that's easy. Drink more water, but get creative. This could be carbonated, carbonated beverages. This could mean herbal teas. It doesn't have to be just plain water. Number two is going to be pooping. If you are new to the channel, this is not a topic that we shy from. We talk all things pooping and we wanna get things flowing. So if you're struggling with constipation, this is numero uno. You need to be focusing on this because we need to be flushing it out. Remember, the bile helps attract and take out toxins but it needs to be taken out of the body or it has a chance to get reabsorbed. So we have really good videos about constipation that we will put in the description that you can check out. Some of the foundational things like hydration and movement and diversifying your diet and making sure that it's full of real wholesome foods. Um, and then also addressing any potential issues like with your thyroid. Um, hypothyroidism can cause constipation because if your thyroid's not working, everything is sluggish which is really unfortunate. So could that be something that you need to dive into of how can we take care of our thyroid health in order for you to poop every day? But what we need to be doing is pooping every day. And if you are not, well, if you are, yay. But I wanna make sure, is it a good stool? Because if it's pooping every day but pebbles, that doesn't count. That still technically counts as constipation. So look here at the Bristol stool chart, you should be type four. That's a good poop. So are you pooping? That's the main question here in this number two. And number three is going to be sweating. Now, this is a pathway that's least talked about, which I don't know why, because it is just another way for your body to flush things out. So if you are a person that struggles to sweat, and I'm holding up my hand very high here because that is absolutely me. I suck at sweating. Um, I pretty much have to be on my deathbed to be sweating like, without any stimulation like a sauna. I need a sauna, that's why I bought one. And in a couple weeks, I will be sharing my nighttime routine, so make sure you subscribe. And sauna is one of them. I try to do it four times a week because I am just an awful sweater. Um, sometimes I'll like, it's very light on my skin, but like I am not the person that is like drenched, which is not good. Um, we need to be sweating because studies do show this helps us release heavy metals. So if you're not a sweater, you have to look into something like a sauna. Um, there's sauna blankets. There are maybe not a legit sauna, but the saunas you can get on Amazon. That's like a little tent and your head sticking out. You can try something like that. You need that extra stimulation. There's also a powder that you can get on Amazon. All the little resources will be in the description. And this is like a hot mustard seed bath. My dietitian Claire actually shared this with me. Um, it didn't do what I wanted it to do for me, but I know it has helped so many others. And so the combination of warm water along with some essential oils and some mustard seed can really help get those sweat glands going. So it's time to get creative. How can we get you sweating? We need you peeing, pooping, sweating. And honestly, if you're sweating, you need the hydration that will go to back to peeing and kind of help all every everyone out. <laughs> it's, it's all one one thing. So this is how you can help get toxins out of your body and get your pathways open and moving. And a lot of the times, whether it's weight loss or maybe you have gut issues, 
this still needs to be such a huge priority because toxins are stored in our adipose tissue as seen in this study. And this is an issue because when you are losing weight and losing fat, all these toxins are getting released into the body and recirculated. So your pathways need to be working and flowing, literally fluid out. So that way we're not being worried that your recirculating toxins are harming any cells in the body. So I look forward to hearing how you detox with some of your favorite ways to get you peeing, pooping, and sweating. I'll see you next week.